So, Mein Kampf is a satirical literature on the Torah. So, knowing that Buddhist Christianity developed for the express concern of a minority class, the idea of baptizing themselves in honor and theological concern for the Holy Ghost is what developed as the primordial ingredient or what we concern to be the Christian work ethic. Christianity didn't develop from individualism. It developed from aristocracy. The idea of Christianity is to develop from union forces to a Christian state of nationalism. So nationalism doesn't exist within the Catholic or the Protestant system. Those are houses and senates. While in the Buddhist system, knowledge is taken as a feature of first membership. So that to be a member of orthodoxy, not only must the integration of the Holy Ghost infer that work is necessity, it, w it would have to agree that there is a linear pathos at all. So to get a linear pathos is a state of non-theism. So to be theist would be to take Christianity and make it into a agricultural zone for dismembering a art. And art is a reflection of selfish thought. So to be selfish in these systems, not only must you reserve the idea that Buddhism was a failable and realistic kind of Christianity, it must take from the Torah that it has a written class system to begin with. So classes are distinct from objects because objects aren't in order of operation. They are in reactors. So if a reactor is present, the inhibitor prevents integration. So to get a manifesto from a ethos, the ethos is a, ref a referendum on the origin of historiography. So there is a historiography between the dilemma of theism and the dilemma of commandeering. Because commandeering is a actionable offense, classes emerge to defend likelihoods of subjectivity. Because subjectivity is never present, it is always manufactured. So, if manufactured subjectivity exists, not only does the effigy of state emerge, the state is submerged into two binary joints, the cortex and the syntax. Cortex is a arch vice. It elongates the version 
of a feature. So if a polar agreement is made between two disjointed systems, the inferment of subject is manufactured as content. And if a core is to become syntax, syntax is a integration of independent ratios. So ratios are aligned to inevitable results. So if there is two factors, the inculcation of a subject is radiated to each individual object. So this is how the indulgence became a independent thought because to indulge means you have to radiate a compromise to apathy and injunction to remove state function. So to get state is to get feature and to get feature is to get state. So this is how media shares its resemblance to Mein Kampf because it doesn't interject that state is a offered nobility. It states that you are required to independently adjust to a necessity. So to be a, a comp in general means to chairman the republic, but the genius that Mein Kampf indulges in is that if you don't adhere to the prerogative of your master, your master is indulged to remove. And it interjects in its thesis that not only must you servile a respiratory act, that it means you have to interject your autonomy into a character. So it is literally blood becoming a factory system. So to be a factory is to create vices and to vice is to interject your removal of law. So to be law is to remove your status as creator and interject the statement of size because size is a agreement between party and state to have no independent faction resonate with the shadow of a institutional effort to remove. And that is a nobility and a law.